Good morning everyone, this is Sir Jiggs and welcome back to my channel. So in today's session, we will be learning on how to solve problems involving quadratic equations. So you will be exposed to worded problems, real life situations wherein we need to apply what we have learned about quadratic equations and also the mathematical concepts that we have learned in the past. So keep watching. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is me again, Sir Jigs. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for more math tutorials. So in today's session, we will be learning on how to solve problems involving quadratic equations. So the concept of quadratic equation is illustrated in many real life situations. So that's the reason why in the long run, we will be solving worded problems wherein we will apply what we have learned about quadratic equations and also apply the mathematical concepts that we have learned in the past. So first example, the perimeter of a rectangular garden of N is 64 meters and its area is 240 square meters. What are the dimensions of the garden? So on this problem, what we're actually looking for are the dimensions of the garden of N, specifically its length and its width. So if this is the rectangular garden of N, we'll be solving for the measurement of its length and its width. So what are the given? Its area, which is 240 square meters, and its perimeter, which is 64 meters. So here's the solution. First, let L and W be the length and the width of the rectangular garden. Next, talking about the area of a rectangle, if you still remember for the formula in solving it, it's the product of length and width. While solving for the perimeter of a rectangle, that would be twice the length plus twice the width. So for the second equation, which is the perimeter, we can actually divide the equation by two. That will give us length plus width is equal to 32. Because 2L divided by two is L. 2W divided by two is W. 64 divided by two, that is 32. If that is the case, we can think that the equation's length times width is equal to 240 and length plus width is equal to 32 represent the sum and product of the roots. Thus, the length and the width of the rectangular garden of N are the roots of the quadratic equation. So using the equation x squared plus b over ax plus c over a is equal to 0, wherein b over a is the sum of the roots and c over a is the product of the roots, then we can actually come up with a quadratic equation. So first, let negative b over a is equal to 32. So why negative b over a? Because that's the formula of the sum of the roots. So in order to make this positive, we need to divide both sides by negative 1. So therefore, b over a is equal to negative 32. And c over a is equal to 240. Considering that the product of our length and width is equal to 240 or the area of the rectangular garden. So after this, we will substitute these values in the equation above. So that would be x squared plus negative 32x plus 240 is equal to 0. Simplifying this equation, we will have x squared minus 32x plus 240 is equal to 0. So since we now have a quadratic equation in standard form, we can actually use the method to solve for its roots. I actually used factoring and I was able to come up with these two factors that would be quantity x minus 20 multiplied by x minus 12. So the reason why I have these two factors is because the only pair of factors that will give us a product of 240 and the sum of negative 32 are negative 20 and negative 12. 
So we will proceed to the zero product rule, equate these two factors to zero. So x minus 20 is equal to zero. So our first root, that would be x is equal to 20. So our second root, x minus 12 is equal to zero. So x is equal to 12. So with the obtained roots of quadratic equation, therefore the dimensions of Anne's rectangular garden are 12 meters and 20 meters respectively. Okay, we can actually do the checking here. Considering that the formula of the area of a rectangle is the product of length and width, so 12 times 20, that's 240. And the perimeter of a rectangle, that's twice the length and twice the width. So 2 times 20, that's 40. 2 times 12, that's 24. So 40 plus 24, that's 64. So therefore, these two dimensions are correct. So here's another example. To attract buyers, Cassie plans to paint a mural on the walls of her store. Suppose the length of the wall to be painted is 8 feet longer than its width and the area is 180 square feet, what will be the length and the width of the wall? So for this problem, what we're actually looking for are the length and the width of the wall of Cassie's store. So if this is the wall of Cassie's store, we will solve for the measurement of its length and its width. The given of this problem is its area, which is 180 square feet. So for the solution, we will let x be the width of the wall. Considering that its length is 8 feet longer than its width, so x plus 8 will be the equation of our length. So since the area of the wall is 180 square feet and the formula of the area of the rectangle is the product of length and width, so therefore x times x plus 8 is equal to 180. So we will try to distribute x to the terms inside the parentheses. So that will give us x squared plus 8x is equal to 180. So to make this equation in standard form, we will move 180 to the left side of the equation. So that would give us x squared plus 8x minus 180 is equal to 0. Solving the resulting equation, we can actually use any method to solve for its roots. I actually used factoring and I was able to come up with these two factors. So that would be quantity x plus 18 times quantity x minus 10 is equal to 0. So again, 18 times negative 10, that's negative 180. 18 plus negative 10, that's positive 8. So the only two factors that would satisfy the conditions of having a product negative 180 and positive 8 are positive 18 and negative 10. So after getting these two factors, we will equate this to 0 by the zero product rule. So our first root, that would be x plus 18 is equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to negative 18. And our second root, x minus 10 is equal to 0. So therefore, our second value for x, that's positive 10. However, we only consider the positive value of x since the problem involves dimensions. There's no such thing as negative measurement. So therefore, the width of the wall of Cassie's store is 10 feet and its length is 18 feet. Because the equation of our length is x plus 8. And the value for our x, that's positive 10. So 10 plus 8, that's 18 feet. So hopefully you learned something for today. So just a quick recap. When it comes to solving problems involving quadratic equations, it's really important that you analyze the problem correctly. And also to have a very good foundation when it comes to mathematical concepts that we have learned in the past, like the different formulas in getting the area of a certain shape or polygon, or even the perimeter. Because there are still a lot of worded problems where we can actually apply the knowledge that we have gained about quadratic equations. But nonetheless, I really appreciate your time watching my video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications about my new videos. And before I forgot, 
if you have questions or clarifications, you can actually um, leave a comment below and I'm more than happy to read and reply. So this is me again, Sir Jigs. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.